Hey, welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode, and we have just received the May 2016 update. So if we go into the actual news here, you can see May 2016 balancing update, two times faster brewing for all spells, two times faster training for Dragon, the Witch, and of course the Wall Breaker, three times faster training for the Golem, the Lava Hound, and the Pekka, hugely reduced hero regeneration times. We are going to be checking that out as well. We're going to kill our heroes, and then we're going to see how long they take to regenerate. The, uh, the faster training also for the Balloon, the Wizard, the Healer, the Valkyrie, and of course the Bowler, which is absolutely awesome. Then gameplay balance, Bowler starts attacking much faster when reaching the target. And the maximum timeout searching for an opponent is raised from 5 minutes to 30. So what we're going to do guys, we're going to see if Supercell has kept to their word and actually done all of these changes. So here we go, we're going to start off in the barracks guys. So they said that the Healer had a reduced time, they didn't say what it was, but now it takes 10 minutes. I think it used to take 12 I'm not too sure, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong on any of these. They said the wall breaker has been halved, so it used to take two. Now it only takes one. That's awesome. It says the pecker has been reduced by, by two-thirds, meaning it only takes a third of what it used to. So it used to take 45 minutes. Now it takes 15 minutes. The dragon has been halved. It used to take 15. or No, sorry. It used to take 30 minutes. Now it only takes 15. Now they also said they have made changes to the wizard. Only takes five minutes. Now it used to take eight. The balloon... The exact same only takes five minutes now and used to take eight. So if we go along to the dark barracks, guys, we're going to test out the golem now only taking 15 minutes, which is absolutely awesome. You can train a golem inside of 15 minutes. The exact same should be for the lava hound. And then finally, the witch. The witch used to take 18. And now I think she takes, what does she take now? 10. Not bad, not bad. Sorry, the witch takes nine minutes now, guys. I think she used to take 18 and they halved her. So that looks decent, guys. So now we're going to go over to the spells. The rage spell used to take 20 minutes. And now, of course, it takes 10. I think all of the spells used to take 20 minutes. And now they only take 10 minutes. So this is going to save a lot of people gems if you do boost quite a lot. Now into the dark spell factory. The exact same. A dark spell all used to take 10 minutes. And now they take five. That is absolutely amazing. A dark spell can be cooked in the same time as a wizard. So of course guys, it is time for us to go into a live attack. Now what we're going to do, this is going to be very interesting. They haven't stated how much of the hero regeneration they have actually cut. So what we're going to do, we're going to kill the king, kill the queen and kill the grand warden, and send them to sleep. Then we're going to come back into the base and see how long they take to regenerate to max health. Now currently at level 26, the king and the queen actually take about, I think they take about, about an hour and 15 minutes. But now obviously it's changed. Oh, there we go guys, regeneration time now only takes 35 minutes so it looks like they've been just under half so it looks like supercells wiped out about 60 percent of regeneration time which is amazing so the queen's the same of course guys she's going to take 35 minutes at level 26 and then the grand warden is going to take 37 minutes what the hell did they not change the grand they haven't changed the grand warden that's a little bit strange, guys. That is definitely a little bit strange. So they're going to keep all heroes the same roughly now then, of course. So the Grand Warden used to heal a lot quicker than the other heroes. And now, of course, the uh, the King and the Queen heal the same as the Grand Warden. So I suppose we can't be too greedy and ask for everything. But that, it's still pretty cool. So we're going to take all of the troops that we are cooking inside of the actual, uh, inside of our barracks right now, guys. We're going to gem the whole lot of them. We're going to bring some spells. Of course, it takes a lot. It takes a lot less gems now. To gem troops because they're not training for as long so that is awesome you're going to be saving gems on many different levels let's bring ourselves some earthquake spells let's bring ourselves two rage spells or free spells so we're going to go in for a live attack as i said let's bring a couple of dragons maybe another pekka there let's bring some wall breakers this is going to be pretty damn awesome and then let's finish off with some harry potters you can never go wrong with a couple of wizards so that is our army guys the most random army i have ever seen but that is pretty damn awesome and this is going to be one fun attack so let's just collect the rest of the loot, guys. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to make it a little bit more entertaining. We're going to attack base number... We're going to attack base number three. So no matter what, we have to take on base number three. So let's see what it's going to be. Oh, first one. Not too bad. Not too bad. So we're inside of the Masters League, so they shouldn't be too maxed out. That's the second one. We have to attack the next base, guys. Please be good. Not bad, guys. Oh, it's got some Dark Elixir inside of it. This is going to be good. Let's go for the Dark Elixir, guys. Here we go. Going to drop down the Earthquake spells there. So let me know what you think about these changes. Are they good for the game? Are they going to bring back more players into the game? That is the question, guys. Of course, I would love this game to go on for another couple of years. But it just depends on how Supercell deal with the updates and stuff. So we're going to drop down the Golem. Go in with the actual uh, the Wizards there. Going to send in the Witch. King, Queen, Grand Warden. Going to send in the Wall Breakers now. That is a multi-target Inferno Tower. Maybe I shouldn't have sent in the Wall Breakers so early, guys. Going to drop in the uh, the Rage Spell. Send in the two Peckers. 
dropping the heal spell. Go in with the one single balloon. And let's see if we can take down this base. So we're going to use a Grand Warden's ability. We are going to use our King's Rage, sorry. Drop in the second Rage spell and freeze that multi-target Inferno Tower, which is doing damage to every single one of my troops. Can we take out the Town Hall, guys? We still have the Queen's ability. Is she going to turn on the Town Hall? These dragons have done a lot of damage to this base. We're already up to 38%. What a weird army, guys. Didn't really even expect to get 40%, to be honest with you. The Queen Star getting the Town Hall. It looks like we're going to get one star, guys. Are we going to get the two star? So we just used the Queen's ability, but unfortunately, she goes down just before she takes out the, uh, the multi-target Inferno Tower. But the Grand Warden is there to clean up. Let's just let the Grand Warden die. Then we can actually see how long these heroes take to regenerate, guys. There we go. 4K Dark Elixir. Not too bad. Plus, we got the loot bonus. Look at that. That is amazing. From heroes going from 0 HP to 4 HP only takes 33 minutes. That is absolutely awesome. So leave a like down below, guys, if you have enjoyed this episode and are super hyped about the update. I cannot wait to see what the actual real big update is going to be, the next big update for COC, because I have a feeling there is going to be a few new features, which a lot of you are going to be absolutely amazed by, guys. So make sure you stay tuned to this channel, because we will be covering it all every single day guys there is nothing else to say this channel is dedicated now to coc and clash royale i have done a new video guys my first ever video on the second channel so please feel free to go and check that out there will be a second episode on here it's going to be something very fun in a few hours time so make sure you stay tuned to the channel to stay up to date with all of the content i produce i will see you shortly guys have a great day love you all peace out